I ended up doing one of the hardest girls ever in an igloo. If you guys don't subscribe right now, you guys will never get your dream girl. But today's story does get insane. So like and subscribe. Other than that, let's jump into the today's crazy story. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba, and welcome back to a really embarrassing story. So today's story all takes place back in high school. This was my grade nine year, and I remember grade nine, this was around December. Now, December is usually the time when snow decides to come to Canada. If you guys don't know, I'm from Vancouver, Canada. And well, let's just say snow comes around here a decent amount. And I remember one time when I went to school in grade nine during December, I remember when I woke up for that day, it was the most snowiest day ever. I am not joking. It was so bad, the snow and how much it was surrounding everywhere that it got to the point where people couldn't drive on the road. And the fact that I still had to go to school and they didn't call it a pro D day shocked everyone I knew. I remember my mom even came up to me and said, is it not a snow day? No, mom, it's not. Oh my goodness. Well, good luck at school. Like even if your own parent can't believe it wasn't a snow day, that's when you know the snow was bad. But I remember I ended up basically going to school that day. I got as many warm clothes as I possibly could. And I ended up going to school and I ended up meeting up with all my friends. All my friends were really angry and pissed off that, you know, it was not a snow day. And so was I, but little did I know this snow day was going to end up becoming a miracle because I remember as we were in the middle of the class, it was the second block. And basically out of nowhere, we ended up hearing on the announcement, something insane where I remember the principal ended up saying, ladies and gentlemen, after seeing the weather outside, after class today, you guys are free to go home. At that moment, everyone in my class was cheering. Almost the whole school was cheering. You could hear it from the hallway. Like everyone was so excited to basically not be in school anymore, which to be fair, it was December. It was almost winter break. Like just let us go, bro. So I remember from there, me and my friends, since we got off school early after lunch, we all ended up basically heading over to the football field to just hang out and just chill. I remember all my friends were saying how there was so much snow and we should do something while waiting for our parents to come pick us up from an early snow day. So I remember what me and all my friends decided to do was start building an igloo. If you guys don't know what an igloo is, basically it's like a snow cave where it's just a bunch of snow built into walls and kind of like becomes like a big hemisphere. Is it, is it a hemisphere? I, I don't really know shapes, but it was a really cool thing. And I remember we ended up building an igloo all together and it was super fun. And I remember me and my friends had a really good time with it. And since there was like five of us building it, I remember this igloo was actually pretty big. Like you can fit more than three people in there easily. So knowing this, me and my friends were so proud of the igloo. And I remember once a couple of girls in my school ended up seeing that we built an igloo. They all started to join in and help us build the inside of it. It was actually kind of funny because we actually like sculpted somewhat of a bed and you know, we started sculpting like a little TV. Obviously it wasn't an actual TV, but we actually had really a lot of fun with it. I gotta say, even though we were in high school, we had a really good time building this igloo. But little did I know this igloo was going to change my life because what ends up happening next, I gotta say was actually pretty naughty. Because I remember as parents started picking up more and more people, I remember it ended up being just me and a girl left. And I remember she wasn't really really attractive girl in my school and her parents both worked really hard jobs so they couldn't pick her up till later and i remember i walked up to her and said oh man this igloo is so cool it sucks that we have to leave it i mean we don't have to leave it what do you mean you, what i mean we do we have to go home i mean we can like check in on this later tonight you don't live far don't you no i don't live that far but i mean do you want to come back to it and check on it is that what you're saying yeah we just come back and check on it and make sure everything's still good uh i mean sure when do you want to come check on it here add my snap i'll message you when i remember i ended up adding this girl on Snapchat. And I remember me and her, we ended up messaging all throughout the whole day, basically excited to go check on the igloo together. And I remember as I was on Xbox playing Call of Duty with the boys, I ended up telling them how I was going to go check on the igloo and all of them wanted to come, but I ended up saying nah, because I already said that like, you know, it was just going to be quick. It wasn't going to be anything insane, basically downplaying it. So I could have some alone time with this girl and alone time did I have, because what ended up happening next, I got to say blew my mind. Cause I remember me and her, we ended up basically meeting up at the school. And I remember when I got there, I messaged her right away to like, you know, come to the igloo. And then out of nowhere, right as I messaged her, she ended up actually coming outside of the igloo when I was standing outside of it. She came out and she said, Baba, there's so much room in here. Come inside. It's getting cold out. I remember me and her, we ended up actually going in there. And funny enough, it was actually somewhat colder in the igloo than warm. You know, I didn't really care because me and her, we basically cuddled in there and actually started making out. We started making out and knowing that the igloo was still there and we had a makeshift bed that we made of snow. We, yeah, I I'm not going to lie to you. This is the part of the story where I say we did the Devil's Tango. We ended up doing it inside an igloo. And I'm not joking when I say this. My eggplant was purple. Like it was freezing. And I don't even know how I made it work. But honestly, my eggplant is a trooper. And we ended up doing the Devil's Tango to this woman. And I remember as we were doing it out of nowhere, we ended up hearing some massive machinery come out of nowhere. Me and her, we ended up looking at each other thinking, oh, it's probably just like cars passing by and stuff. But then we ended up hearing this crazy noise where it sounded like they were plowing through snow. Now we thought they were just plowing like the parking lot of the school 
school. They weren't plowing the parking lot of the school. They were plowing the football field where we built our igloo. So me and her, as we like, we heard it coming closer and closer. We ended up trying to put our clothes on as fast as we could, but obviously we couldn't keep up. So I remember I ended up standing up freaking out and I ended up actually getting out of the igloo with her and she still didn't have anything on her top. So she's just running with her cherries out and I'm running with almost my eggplant hanging out and we're sprinting out of the field as these plow drivers are just looking at us as if we're two insane kids that were like freaks. And I will say this, honestly, it was the most embarrassing thing ever seeing those plow drivers basically see me and this girl come out of that igloo with nothing on. I remember the next day, me and this girl, we ended up basically like agreeing the next day at school to not ever, and I mean ever do that again. And I remember when we went home that day, basically me and her, we ended up messaging each other saying how we should never do that again. That was a terrible idea. But at the same time, it was super hot. But you know, me and her agreed that doing that was probably not the best idea. And I remember the next day when I woke up and I expected another snow day out of nowhere. I remember I ended up seeing my mom come downstairs and say, Bubba, you have to go to school. School's back on. Are you kidding me? It was just a snow day. Oh, they plowed the fields and stuff. You're good to go to school now. So I remember me being super upset. I ended up going to school. When I went to school, me and all the guys were really upset about what happens to the igloo and stuff. And obviously I ended up pretending I didn't know that, you know, it happened, even though I told them I was checking on it. I think the weirdest part, especially was since we got caught that night, me and this girl, I remember this girl that ended up doing the devil's tango in the igloo with ended up walking up to me. She walked up to me and said, you, did you tell anyone what happened? No, why would I? It was embarrassing. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if we're going to get in trouble today though. So if anything happens, just say we did not know what we were doing. Uh, okay. I remember me and her, we ended up going to class and I remember our first class right away, right as the bell rang for school to start, we ended up hearing on the announcement, something insane. Now everyone was expecting another snow day, but what this principal said over the speaker throughout the whole school was mind blowing because he said, attention students, no snow igloos or fortresses can be made. Yesterday we encountered two homeless people performing coitus in the school field. So please no forts and no no types of igloos. Thank you. Honestly, the fact that he said two homeless people made me know we were in the clear. And knowing this, honestly, I gotta say was the most amazing save I think I've ever gone through. But this just goes to show that doing it in igloos is honestly crazy. So fall for more embarrassing stories just like this one.